Catherine Taylor, Deputy Director of Officer Development School. On behalf of the Commanding Officer, Officer Training Command Newport, welcome to the graduation ceremony for Officer Development School Honor Class 24040. Consisting of 165 officers led by the class team, myself, Lieutenant Andrew Taylor, Lieutenant Mikaela Barter, Chief Fire Controlman Daniel Thomas, and Chief Aviation Bosun's Mate Equipment, Manuel Garduño. Military guests in uniform, this will be a covered ceremony. The order of events for this morning's ceremony are as follows. Captain Everett Alcourt, Commanding Officer, Officer Training Command Newport, and Captain Jason Warner, Commanding Officer, Navy Supply Corps School, will arrive shortly. The guests in class will rise for the arrival of the official party and remain standing for the playing of the national anthem and invocation. Captain Alcorn and Captain Warner will then address the graduating class. Following their remarks, Captain Alcorn will distribute the class awards and graduates will symbolize the completion of their training by returning their respective company guidons to their class chief petty officer. The class will then reaffirm the oath of office and will remain standing for the playing of the service song and the final dismissal. Please rise for the arrival of the official party and remain standing for the national anthem and invocation. Ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem. So that these officers look to the horizon, prepare them for the challenges that lie ahead, giving them the physical, mental, and spiritual readiness to meet each one with confidence. And as we continue to celebrate this moment, 
We ask for your spirit to reside with us and all those who stand to watch this day. In your name we pray. Warner is a member of the Defense Acquisition Professional Community and a qualified Joint Service Officer. 
He's earned the supply warfare qualifications in aviation and surface warfare. His leadership is essential to the development of the Navy Supply Corps officers and other logistics professionals through integrated education and training and to the continued success of the world's greatest Navy. We're privileged to have him with us today to share his thoughts. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming our guest of honor today, Captain Jason Warren. for the warm introduction. It's a great day in Newport to celebrate this incredible milestone for ODS Class 24040. Captain, I appreciate the invitation to address the, this graduation. It's an honor and a privilege to be with you here uh, today. Before we get too far into this 30-minute monologue, I'd like to acknowledge a few groups in the audience. First, our veterans and active duty in the crowd. Thank you for your service, which has inspired and paved the way for these young officers here today. Thank you. Next, the families, parents, grandparents, spouses, siblings, children, and significant others. Your love and support for these bright leader officers guided them to this day. They'll need your continued love and support as they embark on their journey as a Naval officer. Thank you. And finally, to the staff here at OTCN, your mem mentorship, guidance, leadership, and gentle correction formed the team known as ODS Class 24040 and prepared them for their first job in the fleet. Thank you. Okay, now, anybody out there actually listened to Captain Alcorn's introduction or read my bio? Good, uh, excellent. That means very few will remember my name and likely won't leave me a bad review on my social media pages. What you will remember was my brevity, which enabled you all to get to what I am sure is your highest priority right now, lunch. In all seriousness, when I was sitting in your seat 26 years ago, I was worried about my girlfriend saying yes to the impending proposal following graduation. So I have no idea who my guest speaker was, nor do I remember what he said that day. So the challenge before me is this. Do I want to be memorable, or do I want my words to resonate throughout your career? I chose the latter, so here we go. I want to give you four things to remember, and I challenge your friends and family to trust, but verify after lunch to see if they actually remember. Number one, be confident. I sat where you are 26 years ago. It was in Pensacola and much warmer, and as I said, I don't remember my guest speaker. What I remember is that I was excited and anxious, maybe even a little afraid of what the future would hold. So if that is you today, it's okay. It's normal, especially if you're about to propose. I joined during the pre-9-11 era when the world appeared to be much safer. We didn't face a resurgent aggressive Russia that ignores its neighbors' sovereign borders or a Chinese regime and its autocratic leaders that have made themselves the decision makers for over a billion people, or a Middle East conflict that seems to have influenced protests on our college campuses. So I get it. I'd be apprehensive, nervous, and anxious too. But rest assured, you represent the best of us. You arrived here with different cultures, histories, perspectives, and ways of thinking. Leveraging that diversity is the key to reaching your peak potential and increasing our advantage against our adversaries. So be confident that the staff here at OTCN has prepared you over the last five weeks to be ready. If you doubt that, just check out the recent YouTube video clips of Navy ships operating in the Red Sea. They highlight the efforts of our sailors, and you're ready to lead them. You must be ready on day one if called in harm's way, and you are ready. So speak with certainty, make decisions, and lead your sailors with confidence. Sure, you'll make mistakes, but learn from those mistakes and be better. Be confident. Number two. Be virtuous. Your high moral character will guide you through your career. See, America has always been a maritime nation, and the seas are the lifeblood of our economy, our national security, and our way of life. The Navy continues to build, maintain, and equip combat credible, dominant naval forces to keep the sea lanes open and free, deter conflict, 
and when called upon, decisively win our nation's wars. Class 24040, you'll be at the helm of the world's greatest nation. We operate in every environment, from undersea to space, in the information domain and beyond. The team here at OTCN and your family before them instilled in you attributes like initiative, accountability, integrity, and toughness, all wrapped in the Navy's core values of honor, courage, and commitment. They developed you morally, mentally, and physically to be virtuous leaders. And that will serve you and your sailors well in the future. We put our full faith and trust in you to lead our most precious resource, our people. Your sailors will rely on you as the strategic landscape continues to change. But America's need for a strong Navy holds fast, just like it has since our nation's founding. The bedrock of a strong Navy remains its people. The challenges you encounter will test your character, but never surrender your honor and integrity for the easy route. Choose the hard right over the easy wrong. Own your actions and decisions. Life as a leader is hard, but rewarding. Enjoy it and embrace it. Sharpen your skills and put them to good use. Be virtuous. Number three, be excellent. Looking at the roles you will assume in the fleet, it struck me. You, me, we are all in the customer service business. We are in the supporting roles, and without us, the supported roles can't execute their mission. Your jobs are vital to defending our nation, our freedoms, our livelihood. Take pride in your work and strive for excellence. Go out there and be a five-star service provider for our Navy, and <laughs> prove to our mission partners how valuable you and your team are to our world-class Navy. Be excellent. Number four, be connected. Today, you may not know how important this place is to you, but you will appreciate the connections you made and your time here over the years as you pause to look in the rearview mirror. 26 years ago, 26 years has gone by so fast and I have forgotten far too many shipmates. These shipmates are the shoulders upon which I stand here today, and you too will soon stand on giant shoulders. Be better than me and remember them, thank them, journal about them, and connect with them. You need each other, maybe not today, but it'll happen. You will cross paths again throughout your career. He doesn't know this, but Admiral Ferguson, thank you, sir, for being here today, is a shipmate of mine. He was the Desron commander when I was the beach detachment officer on board USS Enterprise during 9-11. I could never predict that we would be in this building today, crossing paths again. So be connected. Go learn your job, your mission, your team, and be an expert on your people. Be the leader in their lives that makes a difference by helping them meet their personal and professional goals. Truly, you must know our shipmates, their strengths, their challenges, and their motivations in order to build the trust you'll need during the fight. Be connected. ODS Class 24040, congratulations on achieving this significant milestone in your career. I promise you, you pass will cross again. You should, uh, you should expect your upcoming assignments to challenge you in unexpected ways. I assure you that you're ready. Today is a launching point for an exciting career that will bless you with amazing experiences and lifelong friendships. Cherish them. I know you're eager to join the fleet. Enjoy the ride. It'll go by fast. Every once in a while, soak it all in. Begin your journey with confidence that you have everything you need to be successful. Let your character guide you as you are the beacon of excellence. Rely on the connections you've made. Welcome to the wardroom, and I look forward to celebrating your future successes. Oh, by the way, in case you were wondering, she said yes. <laughs> we're still together 26 years ago, uh, 26 years later. She's sitting in the crowd. Congratulations again, and may God bless you. May God bless the world's greatest Navy, and may God bless our nation. Thank you.
Tim, front and center. The Honor Student Award is presented to the officer who best demonstrates his overall excellence in the area of academics, physical fitness, and military bearing. Consistently setting the example for his peers throughout the many challenges faced at Officer Training Command, the Honor Student Award goes to Ensign Tim. Ensign Michaela Scanlon, front and center. The Alfred Award is given to the officer who achieves the highest military grade derived from personnel inspection, room inspection, and general military bearing. This award is named after the Continental Sloop of War, the Alfred. Commissioned in 1775, the Alfred served as a flagship of native Rhode Islander, Commodore Essex Hopkins, and is regarded as the birthplace of Navy medicine, as it was the first ship to appoint a dedicated ship surgeon. Serving as a role model of Navy pride and professionalism, maintaining the highest military standards, and providing inspiration to all, the Alfred Award goes to Ensign Scanlon. Nurse Corps, 
Ensign Chatton, Nuclear Power and School Instructor. Lieutenant Junior Grade Chen, Nurse Corps. Ensign Chicoin, Health Profession Scholarship Program. Ensign Saramans, Health Profession Scholarship Program. Ensign Klein, Nuclear Power School Instructor. Lieutenant Junior Grade Cruz Barreto, Medical Service Corps. Lieutenant Damakutra, Dental Corps. Ensign Dayawan, Medical Service Corps. Ensign DeSalle, Health Profession Scholarship Program. Lieutenant Junior Grade Adios, Medical Service Corps. Ensign Del Mundo, Nurse Corps. Ensign Domeni, Nurse Corps. Ensign Dickerson, Health Profession Scholarship Program. Ensign DiGirolamo, Health Profession Scholarship Program. Ensign Dills, Nurse Corps. Ensign Duffy, Nurse Corps. Ensign Dykes, Health Profession Scholarship Program. Ensign Eisenhower, Nurse Corps. Lieutenant Junior Grade Elrod, Medical Service Corps. Ensign Fellows, Engineer and Duty Officer. Ensign Ferguson, Health Profession Scholarship Program. Ensign Fields, Nurse Corps. Lieutenant Fleshman, Medical Service Corps. Lieutenant Junior Grade French, Medical Service Corps. Lieutenant Junior Grade Fudge, Nurse Corps. Ensign Garner, Health Profession Scholarship Program. Ensign Gar Garzon Cuesta, Nurse Corps. Ensign Girardi, Health Profession Scholarship Program. Ensign Gomez Alvarez, Nurse Corps. Ensign Goodell, Health Profession Scholarship Program. Lieutenant Junior Grade Griffith, Medical Service Corps. Ensign Griffiths, Nurse Corps. Ensign Gunderson, Health Profession Scholarship Program. Lieutenant Junior Grade Gutierrez, Nurse Corps. Ensign Gutierrez, Information Warfare Officer. Lieutenant Junior Grade Hardy, Medical Service Corps. Ensign Heal, Health Profession Scholarship Program. Lieutenant Junior Grade Henderson, Nurse Corps. Lieutenant Henry, Medical Service Corps. Ensign Henry, Nurse Corps. Ensign Hurd, Nurse Corps. Lieutenant Junior Grade Hofstetter, Medical Service Corps. Lieutenant Hoover, Medical Service Corps. Ensign Rushka, Information Warfare Officer. Ensign Hoffman, Nurse Corps. Lieutenant Junior Grade Hunter, Medical Service Corps. Lieutenant Junior Grade Jalos, Nurse Corps. Lieutenant Johnson, Chaplain Corps. Lieutenant Junior Grade Jones, Medical Service Corps. Ensign Jones, Health Profession Scholarship Program. Ensign Jones, Nurse Corps. Lieutenant Junior Grade Jersey, Medical Service Corps. Ensign Carapuda, Uniform Services University. Ensign Cristianto, Public Affairs Officer. Lieutenant Junior Grade Kunzman, Nurse Corps. Ensign Kunzman, Uniform Services University. Ensign Cushman, Uniform Services University. Lieutenant Commander Lavelle, Medical Corps. Ensign Leffler, Nurse Corps. Lieutenant Junior Grade Leon, Medical Service Corps. Ensign Licorice, Nurse Corps. Lieutenant Lontero, Medical Service Corps. Lieutenant Junior Grade Marsman, Medical Service Corps. Lieutenant McGee, Medical Service Corps. Lieutenant Junior Grade McHugh, Nurse Corps. Lieutenant Junior Grade McRae, Medical Service Corps. Ensign Messner, Health Profession Scholarship Program. Ensign Meredith, Health Profession Scholarship Program. Lieutenant Min, Medical Service Corps. Ensign Montgomery, Health Profession Scholarship Program. Lieutenant Junior Grade Mazinski, Nurse Corps. Ensign Mutopo, Nurse Corps. Ensign Nair, Health Profession Scholarship Program. Ensign Nazareth, Information Warfare Officer. Ensign Nichols, Health Profession Scholarship Program. Ensign Obey, Nurse Corps. Ensign Og Ogden, Health Profession Scholarship Program. Lieutenant, Ju Lieutenant Junior Grade Ojudican, Nurse Corps. Lieutenant Junior Grade Ordonez, Medical Service Corps. Ensign Parikh, Information Warfare Officer. Ensign Pena, Nurse Corps. Ensign Pena, Supply Corps. Ensign Perez, Information Warfare Officer. Ensign Perry, Health Profession Scholarship Program. Lieutenant Junior Grade Four, Nurse Corps. Ensign Prashad, Engineering Duty Officer. Ensign Quigley, Civil Engineer Corps. Ensign Raga, Supply Corps. Ensign Reed, Health Profession Scholarship Program. Ensign Raluya, Nurse Corps. Ensign Renke, Nurse Corps. Lieutenant Junior Grade Rankle, Medical Service Corps. Lieutenant Junior Grade Rody, Medical Service Corps. Ensign Risco, Nurse Corps. Ensign Robertson, Nurse Corps. Ensign Rodriguez, Health Profession Scholarship Program. Lieutenant Junior Grade Roman, Nurse Corps. Ensign Sanchez, Nurse Corps. Lieutenant Junior Grade Sanchez, Nurse Corps. Lieutenant Junior Grade Sandy, Information Worker Officer. Ensign Saniano, Civil Engineer Corps. Ensign Scanlon, Uniform Services University. Ensign Schoenfelder, Health Profession Scholarship Program. Ensign Scrubs, Health Profession Scholarship Program. Ensign Sesh, Supply Corps. Ensign Sexton, Health Profession Scholarship Program. Ensign Shaler, Health Profession Scholarship Program. Ensign Shea, Health Profession Scholarship Program. Ensign Shamuleli, Information Worker Officer. Ensign Smith, Engineering Duty Officer. Ensign Steele, Health Profession Scholarship Program, Ensign Sullivan, Engineering Duty Officer, Lieutenant Sunderaisen, Dental Corps, Ensign Swale, Health Profession Scholarship Program, Ensign Swearingen, Nurse Corps, Ensign Tan, Health Profession Scholarship Program, Ensign Tate, Health Profession Scholarship Program, 
Ensign Tedding, Information Warfare Officer. Lieutenant Junior Grade Tyler, Medical Service Corps. Lieutenant Junior Grade Bang, Nurse Corps. Ensign Villa Luna, Nurse Corps. Ensign Bo, Civil Engineer Corps. Ensign Ward, Health Profession Scholarship Program. Ensign Watson, Nurse Corps. Ensign Webb, Public Affairs Officer. Lieutenant Junior Grade Weber, Medical Service Corps. Ensign Wayshar, Uniform Services University. Lieutenant Junior Grade Westcott, Medical Service Corps. Ensign White, Health Profession Scholarship Program. Ensign Williams, Health Profession Scholarship Program. Ensign Wills, Health Profession Scholarship Program. Lieutenant Junior Grade Wilmot, Medical Service Corps. Ensign Winters, Health Profession Scholarship Program. Ensign Yu, Supply Corps. Ensign Zoller, Health Profession Scholarship Program. Ensign Zurich, Nurse Corps.
Posture Development School Honor Class 24040. Upon graduating from Officer Development School, you are ordered to detach and report to your duty station where you will assume your duties and responsibilities by order of Everett Alcorn, Captain, United States Navy, Commanding Officer, Officer Training Command, Newport. Hey!